this video we'll be discussing about the herbs and the Klumke's palsy. Let's begin with discussion about herbs palsy. Herbs palsy is due to injury to the upper trunk of the brachial plexus, which is the herbs point located on C5 C6. Etiology excessive lateral flexion of the neck due to trauma like falling on the head and shoulder in a motor vehicle accident or during birth injury which is due to excessive lateral traction on the neck during delivery and shoulder dystocia are responsible for herbs palsy clinical features the most common symptoms of herbs palsy include weakness in one arm arm is bent at elbow and held against body decreased grip strength in hand of the affected side numbness in the arm impaired circulatory muscular and nervous development and partial or total paralysis of the arm presentation weakness of the muscles in the c5 and c6 myotomes result in a flexed wrist with an extended forearm and an internally rotated and adducted arm. This is classically labeled as the Vader's tip posture due to weak biceps brachii, brachialis and brachioradialis resulting in impaired flexion and supination of the forearm and an absent biceps reflex. The weak infraspinatus results in impaired external rotation of the arm. A weak deltoid and supraspinatus results in impaired arm abduction. And the weak wrist extensors result in impaired wrist extension. Asymmetric morose reflex in infants, which is absent or impaired on the affected side, is one of the clinical signs into diagnosing herbs palsy. There is sensory loss in the C5 and C6 dermatomes that is along the thumb and lateral surface of the forearm and the arm. Clumcase palsy. Clumcase palsy is due to injury to the lower trunk of the brachial plexus from C8 through T1. Etiology. Clumcase palsy can occur due to hyperabduction of the arm which can be the result of trauma, like in the case of breaking a fall by grabbing a branch or during birth injury, which results from excessive traction on the arm during delivery. The compression of the lower trunk of the brachial plexus, which can occur as a result of a pan caused tumor or an extra rib, which is popularly known as cervical rib. The compression of the lower trunk of the brachial plexus can be subacute to chronic in onset. The clinical features weakness of muscles in the C8 and T1 myotomes, which results in weakness of intrinsic hand muscles, result in a total claw hand. The absent grasp reflex in infants. Sensory loss in the C8 through T1 dermatomes which happens to be along the little finger and the medial surface of the arm and forearm. Preganglionic Horner syndrome also occurs if injury occurs proximal to the white ramus communicans. There is decreased peripheral pulses if subclavian vessels are compressed by a pancos tumor or a cervical rib.